Hello, I'm at uh, San Francisco International Airport. I'm here for a few days, but uh, as I've flown here the last few days, I've been contemplating upon some historical IBM videos that um, I think I want to use in a number of segments as I approach the uh, 100 episode mark on uh, Conversations with Kip. The historical videos are around banking and banking systems. I think there's elements that you can we can learn through these videos about how things were done in the 1960s, 1970s, maybe even the 1950s, about how our systems could be improved today around financial processes, around how the, the, the simple processes, how they were done. I'll also place on my uh, website, on my channel, the uh, historical videos in their total as we approach uh, 100 episodes of Conversations with Kip. The first video is uh, from an IBM banking conference held in Poughkeepsie, New York in May 4th through the 11th, 1959. At this conference, IBM unveiled the Demand Deposit System 1200. One thing that I wanted to emphasize in this first video that I've extracted from the historical document, the historical movie, is the leadership that was needed to bring together um, around check processing and the magnetic ink character recognition process. What a great leadership that was and what it did to lower the cost of overall processing across the industry, bringing together many different kinds of vendors, many kinds of equipment, many uh, customers in solving significant uh, processing problems and cost problems in banking in the day. That leadership, I think, is one thing that I think is, is probably required again in this day and age as the cost of our financial processing, the increases of our data over time, the need for us to make greater sense of that data, have greater control of it, and more accuracy in it, has again created a need for us to find a way of lowering that cost. And that, that process is probably going to require many different customers coming together and perhaps many different vendors coming together in order to lower these costs. That's the first part of this episode is about leadership uh, across the industry, uh, across vendors, uh, across uh, processes. That kind of leadership is what's required today for solving so much of the structured data problems that I'm talking about in conversations with Kip.